This short video demonstrates how I used the MARPA feature on my Ray Marine radar back in 2005 on a crossing from the Azores Islands to the mainland of Portugal. In this case, you can see the Ray Marine display. I have got a target off to starboard of a ship that's approaching our, uh, crossing our path as we head towards Portugal. I'm also uh, using the Ray Marine display to put the target information on my PC using the NMEA output from the uh, multifunction display. Now, this passage was a year before I installed an AIS receiver on Sarah, so I had no other way of uh, tracking targets uh, on my navigation displays uh, other than the MARPA feature on my Raymarine radar. For large ships, uh, AIS has largely supplanted my use of MARPA uh, for tracking ship targets, but still there is a lot of smaller vessels out there, uh, particularly fishing trawlers, who do not use AIS, and I still find it a useful feature for tracking those targets. My main use of the MARPA feature on my Raymarine radar is just for target tracking, keep track of uh, tra targets on the radar display. I don't use it the way I use AIS today for uh, closest point of approach and, uh, and uh, other uh, precise target information. Uh, but as you can see here, the Raymarine uh, display puts breadcrumbs on the display so I can track the approach of a target uh, towards uh, my route. This was a fairly trivial encounter with a freighter off the coast of Portugal. It was a single vessel and it was during daylight so we had visual contact with the, with the vessel all the time and also we had no other vessels we had to worry about at the same time. Did you get the official pictures? Not yet. John is. John's doing the official movie. I'm waiting until he clears the bow. I want a picture of him with him just in front of our bow. Oh, on the other side? Port side? Yeah, and I don't have to shoot into the sun. Yeah, wait. Later in the voyage, we did encounter multiple vessels, and we did encounter them at night. And then the MARPA feature became very useful in keeping track of all of these targets. Here is an example of what we encountered as we hit the main shipping channel off the coast of Portugal.